Hi, Nick at Clean PC, and today we're going to be doing a Linux distribution review for Elementary OS 5.1.5. Elementary OS is based on Debian and Ubuntu Linux. It originates in the United States. As of today, July 10th, DistroWatch has it ranked 6th, and they categorize it as a live medium, a desktop distribution, and a beginner's distribution. The install was relatively straightforward. They've got a nice graphical installer, and it took about 15 minutes total to install uh, as a VM. I'm running this on Proxmox. It's got four CPU and six gigs of memory. As you can see, we're booted into the desktop. We've got our application menu up here on the left-hand side. You can see the default applications that are installed, date and time, and then we've got some options over here, our sound, our network, our notifications, and our power settings. Down here, we've got our dock with our applications, and if we wanted to go into settings, we simply click, and it would open up. One of the nice things about this distribution, if we look at display, running it as a VM has an unknown display, but if we go up here, we can see our resolution is set to 1920 by 1080. So nice to have that full resolution. And if we go back, we can see all the different options we have here under system settings that you can customize. One of the things we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to open terminal. And I'm just going to run HTOP. I'm going to shrink this down a little bit. So we'll have this open as we go through the distribution. On boot, we're using about 622 megs of memory out of the 6 gigs that we have. And one of the nice things about having the dock down here is if we right click, we can choose to keep this in dock. So I use the terminal a lot, so I'm going to keep it there. And I'm also going to open a new window move it over here and I always like to go to NeoFetch and just take a look at the distribution so again elementary OS 5.1.5 we can see the kernel we're running our uptime the packages the shell the resolution desktop environment being Pantheon uh, our themes our GPU our CPU and our memory so really cool always like looking at the logo as well so just wanted to bring that up. Another nice feature about Elementary OS is the Software Center. So if we click on this, it's going to open up. And as you can see, shows you some of the applications that are trending. If we scroll down, we've got categories. So we can look for specific applications in accessories, audio, communication, etc. We can also search up here in this search box. We can click on Installed. We can see all the installed applications, and it's just loading, and it'll tell us that we've got about 99 megs of updates available. It also tells you up here, and we can also turn on Do Not Disturb, so we don't really want to be notified right now of that, so we'll turn that off, and we can even say Clear Notifications for the time being. So, definitely nice software center. Well done. I'm just going to open terminal again. So one of the things, um, Elementary OS comes with a, a nice set of applications, but there's some things personally I like to install. So we're going to go ahead and just do a couple installs. Uh, I just think it's kind of nice to kind of make it my own. So so for Media Player, I prefer VLC. So we'll go ahead and run sudo apt-get install VLC. Just under 80 megs, we'll say Y to continue, and it'll go out and grab all the packages to do the install. So I know I won't use this default program, so I'm going to uncheck keep it in the dock. Same thing with videos. Calendar, I know I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to use this mail application either. And so as you can see, our dock has shrunk because we removed a bunch of stuff. And also, not going to use photos.
and this is just about done should be finished here in a quick second all right so now if we go up to applications we've got VLC installed the icon hasn't shown up yet but if we click on it it's gonna open so we're gonna say keep it in dock because this is something I use consistently also gonna go back and we're gonna install Synapse and this is a small program it's like an application launcher but it's really convenient now that that's installed you can see right here we can open that up and now we could type if we want to open another terminal we could do that we're not going to open anything at this moment we're going to do one more install Actually, I think two more. So we're going to go ahead and install Firefox. So Elementary OS, by default, comes with Epiphany Web Browser. So we'll go ahead and open that up, and we'll be installing Firefox in the back. It takes a little time, so we'll wait for it. And uh, I preloaded a couple things. So here is Elementary OS on the DistroWatch site, so you can see the pertinent information. And one of the things I want to do is go to a couple of the bookmarks here. So if you go to their main page, you can see here, this is where you can download Elementary OS. And one of the interesting things um, is they tell you right here, pay what you want, 10, 20, 30, custom. So if you're new to Elementary OS, you've never used it, you want to try it, and you're not really interested in paying for it initially, you can go in here and enter custom, and you can enter, oops, any dollar amount. It looks like we're having a little trouble. That's part of the reason I'm not a huge fan of uh, the web browser, Epiphany. Try it again. So we'll go back here. And in a custom, we can enter any dollar amount. So if we wanted to, we could say zero, and then we could say download Elementary OS. Um, if you do download it, you use it, you like it, you use it as your daily driver, um, I highly suggest you come back. Uh, Give them a few bucks, whatever you can afford to give them, because this is a really cool distribution. Um, and not many of them do something like this, where they actually will give you this right on the, the landing page in order to download. But I like the fact that these guys did this, because uh, it's pretty cool. A lot of people actively contributing to this distribution, and just a nice way to give them a couple bucks, buy them a cup of coffee, etc. Um, it's a great distribution, so again, highly recommend you do that if you have not. And like it's just having issues so now we've got Firefox installed so we'll go ahead and bring the application launcher up and launch Firefox close this and we'll full screen and we'll go to DistroWatch And again, we can see Elementary OS is ranked number six, so we'll click on it. No issues in Firefox. So if we click on the Elementary OS homepage, again, we're back here. If we click in Custom, we hit zero. We can hit five. We can hit whatever amount we want uh, to donate and then purchase Elementary OS. So again, highly recommend that you do do that. And want to install one more program here. So we'll go ahead and install Genie. And while that's installing in the background, I'm going to open Firefox back up because one of the things I didn't do, I got to minimize it real quick so our dock comes back. And I'm just going to right click and say keep it in the dock. All right. And open synapse again and we'll start to type genie and that will pop up and we can right click and say keep in the dock and again genie's an editor it's really nice uh, color coding small app but really effective if you uh, edit HTML JSON etc any coding really nice small editor to do that one of the things about the dock down here kinda nice you can just rearrange the icons right so if we want genie right here 
You can drop it in there. Unfortunately, we're not going to keep Epiphany, so we'll remove that. We can move Firefox over to here. VLC. And probably put the terminal right there. So, and that's nice and easy. The dock's always there. And if you notice, if we open Firefox again, the setting currently for the dock is if we maximize this, it'll auto-hide. So, it's gone. And in order to have it come back, we've got to not full screen Firefox and there it is. Now you can change that in settings. So if we look at the desktop, and we look at the dock, and here it is, hide one window overlaps the dock. So if we change that, we've got all these options not being used. So we're not going to change that though, we're just going to leave it at default. And again, in here you can see we've got different wallpapers we can choose from. We could turn off animations, uh, the panel translucency. Got hot corners, not set to do anything currently. So again, really nice distribution, very customizable, lots of different things you can do with it. Um, it's that Debian Ubuntu branch that we had talked about. Um, I'm a little bit partial to it, I hate to admit it, but it's true. Um, this is one of my favorite distributions, probably in my... Uh, top 10 really like it easy to use easy to customize used it uh, as a daily driver for quite some time and is really pleased with it so hope you enjoyed this review please like and subscribe